Right, Clarets, fan reaction. Burnley 2, Portsmouth 1. Um, well, what do we say? Um, we got the win. Um, how many times a team's going to try and do that against us? You know, waste time and then us score a late winner. Um, we saw it in our last championship campaign and obviously we've seen it again today. Um, obviously, it wasn't the best game. Um, it was a very niggly game, very scrappy. Um, very, very difficult to play against Portsmouth today. Um, they came with a game plan. Um, they didn't try to shut up shop as soon as they had scored. Um, but they, they did come with a game plan and they did well at it, to be fair. Um, but I think we were we were deserved winners for the chances we created. Um, but it didn't feel like that at half time. At half time, it felt like they definitely deserved to be in front. Um, it was very hard to watch that match. First half, poor, lethargic. Um, you know, we looked leggy. We just couldn't get on the ball. We seemed... Not that we couldn't get on the ball, but we seemed to hesitate when we had it um, and not know what to do with it when we got it. Um, but I think, obviously, like I say, Portsmouth came with a game plan. They did well with it. Um, obviously got, I want to say a scrappy goal, but it wasn't because it was a good move. Um, Egan Riley obviously could do better. It's down his side. He could do better defensively. Um, but it was a decent goal overall. Can't, can't honestly blame Trafford for it. Um, I do want to see it back because I honestly believed uh, the lad who tapped it in was offside. But like I say, I need to see it back. I can't be certain. But from where I was at, it did look offside. Um, <clears throat> that's obviously just gut reaction. Like I say, I do need to see it back. Um, and then, yeah, we come out second half and I thought we started well. Um, we looked like we were making inroads. We looked like whatever Parker had said at half time, it looked like, you know, they'd been given a rollicking, um, which they well and truly needed. Um, and yeah, we come out second half and I thought we played better. Um, it, it did almost feel like a matter of time when Saramento came on and scored. It did feel like not if we're going to score, but when. Um, but at the same time, it it felt like it could be one of those games where we have all these chances, we have shots, we have these efforts saved, we have them go wide, we have them so close. Um, and it felt like it could also be that game where it just wasn't going to happen. Um, but yeah, moment of madness from Saramento coming on. Obviously, when he's got the ball, you can see him like hesitating to take that shot like as soon as the ball came to his feet you knew he was going to take that shot but he just had a couple of moments hesitation and then when he did obviously it's ended up in the back of the net and it's a wonderful goal um and that's you know that that's why we've signed him he's that sort of player and I'm absolutely made up for him um because it was a, a great goal um and yeah he's he deserved it and then it felt like, right, once we've got that goal, let's go and get another. Let's go and get ourselves in front. Um, and it was hard, you know, like I say, Portsmouth came obviously with their game plan and they did it well. Um, it, it was hard to break them down. And then the scrappiest, honestly, I still don't understand how... Brownhill scored um, because from where I was sat it just looked to be rolling and obviously Norris hasn't moved for it it just looked to be rolling 
Um, and yeah, it, it just settled in the back of the net and it were, yeah, it, it, it just felt like it was in slow motion. Um, but obviously that's, if we are going to go on and win the league, which obviously we want to do, um, or at least, you know, get automatic promotion, these are the games that we have to win. We have to find a way when we're playing poorly, we have to find a way to win. And I think, obviously, that's what we did today. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't the best. You know, it. it there were times where we've had to dig deep today. Um, and obviously, like I say, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't the best. But we've got the three points. We've got the result. Um, which, like I say, I, I do think is fair on the balance of play. Um, but, yeah, we, we probably deserved it overall. Um in terms of the match overall, though, um, you know, th there's no one that I want to single out as man of the match because I don't think anyone was outstanding. Um, but a shout for it would be Steve. I thought he did very well. Um, you know, defensively, he made a lot of good tackles. He had a couple of moments, again, where his brain seemed to switch off. Um there's a moment in the first half that sticks out where he's tried to run out of the defence with the ball. He's ended up losing the ball. Yeah, he's come back and made a really good tackle. He's made the recovery. But just little moments like that. And the team was littered with those today. There was lots of those little moments. And like I say, it's still only early in the season. We are still going to be making those mistakes. But the team was littered with them today. Um, and I think that obviously, you know, that obviously had an impact on the game overall. Um, but I do want to obviously mention Foster because, you know, he's he's really our main striker. Um, he's really our only striker other than Jay. Um, I thought he was very poor today, to be honest with you. Um, I felt like for the most of the game, we were playing with 10 men. Um, he just didn't seem to be on it. He's got this thing where he's facing away from goal and he needs to focus and turn to face the other way. Um, and it takes him too long to turn his man when he's facing away from goal. And there were just a few things with him today. And I don't know if he's, you know, since the link transfer link, obviously he scored against them lot the other week. But since the transfer link has that mess not messed with his head, but has that had an impact on him? Is he mentally fit? Um, obviously, you know, we had the issue last season. Um, I s still don't think he's 100%. Um, possibly wrong, probably wrong, but I still don't think he's 100%. And to be honest, he hasn't shown me enough this season to warrant a place um, in the starting eleven for next weekend. But that may be harsh. Um, that's probably a little bit harsh, obviously. N there was no one who was really at it today. Um, like I said, no one stood out for me as man of the match. Um, no one shone through. Probably Sarimento, when he came on, I thought he had a bit of nice play. Um, Josh Laurent, obviously he didn't play the full game, but I thought he did very well and... Cullen, you know what you're going to get with Cullen, but yeah, I think overall we weren't at our best today, but we've obviously got the result and got the three points, which I'm made up about. Um, But yeah, I don't want to go on too long, and obviously I don't want to complain about referees, because I feel like I do that a lot, Um, and I, I don't want it to be about referees, I want it to be about Burnley and their performance and how the game went. But I thought the referee today was very, very poor. Um, <clears throat> like I say, Portsmouth came with a game plan. And they did it very well. But the referee let them get away with quite a lot today. Um, and I think it's astonishing, really. There weren't more yellow cards in the match. Um, I think they were lucky to finish the match with 11 men. <clears throat> um I, I do honestly think that referee today was probably one of the poorest refereeing performances I've seen at the turf. Um, but yeah, it, it just 
baffles me how the referees can be so bad. Um, you know what? No matter what league you're in, they they always just seem to be so bad. Um, but yeah, as I say, I don't want to make it all about the referee. I don't want to make it about how Portsmouth performed because obviously, you know, we've got the three points, we've got the win, and I'm absolutely made up with that. So yeah, uh, Plymouth next weekend, I think no Oxford, Oxford next weekend, um, and then Plymouth. Plymouth the week week after so yeah Oxford away next weekend um be looking forward to that one hopefully another three points um hopefully a decent performance and yeah let's go get the win up Clarets <laughs>